Hey everyone and welcome back to Dio Digital. In today's video I want to talk about cookies. Not the kind you're probably serving in a business meeting, but the kind you're probably setting when someone visits your website. For a long time it's been enough to just tell users that you're using cookies and then carry on setting them using presumed consent as validation. But following a change to GDPR regulations in 2019, you now have to give users the option of which cookies you are allowed to set when they visit your website. Unfortunately though, most websites still carry on just giving users the warning that they're setting cookies and don't give them the option to select which ones. I mean, let's take a look at a range of websites in different sectors. The first example, Pure Cars. We can see here that there's no cookie warning whatsoever on their website. And if we click in the padlock in the top left hand corner, we can see they're using nine cookies. Leisure Rentals Direct. Again, this time we've got a cookie warning, but there's no option to select what cookies we want them to set. And they're using 18 different cookies on this page alone. ActivityToysDirect.com. There again, we've got a cookie message at the top, but once more it's inadequate. And this time we'll see that they're using 27 cookies just on this page alone. It's the big brands that get it wrong as well. So Go Outdoors, well known for selling outdoor activity kit. This time we've got a cookie message at the top again and a link to the cookie policy. Problem is that's a broken link and we can't actually find the cookie policy by clicking there. And finally, you'll know that motorsports is a big thing for me as well. As you can see, we've got a cookie message, but it's nothing special and it certainly doesn't give us the option to choose what cookies they're setting. So as you can see, there's still loads of businesses out there who aren't handling cookie warnings properly. They're either not giving a warning at all, or if they are, they're still using that approach of, we use cookies, get over it. And that's not great for some users. I know from first-hand experience, implementing cookie management solutions for some businesses that around 10% of users want the option to select which cookies you set on their devices. But what can you do about it? There's loads of solutions out there that you can pay for, but budgets are tight and you don't wanna to have to spend more money. Fortunately, I've got a free solution. So, what's the solution? Well, to help support small businesses in getting cookie management right, I've decided to build my own cookie management platform. And what's more, I'm making it completely free to anyone who wants it. All the information is on the website in the link in the description below. It's super easy to install and most people should be able to sort it out themselves with a little bit of copy and paste and creating a Google Tag Manager account. If you have any difficulty though, I'm also going to create a video tutorial on how to set it up, so that should answer most questions. But if you're still struggling, feel free to get in touch and I'll help where I can. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and check out more videos for helpful hints, tips and video guides to help you get the most out of digital marketing for your small business. Thanks for watching guys.